no one, literally no one, no one at all, anywhere. Comic book pros, we should have a Marvel DC crossover to save the industry. Sheer fucking hubris. So having realized that their claims that the industry is fine and has never been more stable or profitable were complete bullshit, some comic book creators are in full panic mode now that it's obvious the bubble is about to burst. Just for context, since most businesses are shut down due to the quarantine, it's difficult for brick and mortar stores to survive. This is very true for many comic book stores since they may look profitable, but really only on a month by month basis. If they don't get a steady flow of customers, they may not have enough money to survive being closed for two or three weeks, let alone two or three months. Many of these stores make their money selling things other than comics, games, toys, statues, movies, and other collectibles. If they can't sell the product, they're screwed. They've also been screwed by the comics they carry, both in terms of the books not selling to their customer base and companies like Marvel over shipping books that then take up valuable shelf space. People have said this was a problem for years, with the comic book pros claiming it's all an alt-right lie because they hate diversity. Marvel even put out an unsourced infographic claiming that more stores opened in 2019 than closed, while never saying how many closed. That might be relevant if, say, 49 stores closed and 51 opened. More stores opened than closed, but technically, there's only two new stores. So in this time of sheer panic, Marvel releases two videos for books of literally only me, your boy Zack, England Teen, The Fourth Age, Young Ripper, and Doug Ernst will buy. After everyone in their grandmammy said, that's gonna be a hard no, Gail Simone came in for the rebound. Her first layup, which she completely missed despite climbing a ladder and being two inches from the rim, was to tweet out the names of comic book stores, as if anyone who buys comics wouldn't know the stores in their own area. Did you even think about it, Gail? Did you think about it? Where do you go to buy comics? They don't sell them in grocery stores. They don't sell them in CVS and Walgreens. They don't sell them in bookstores because all of those are closed by Barnes & Noble. You go to a comic book store. So chances are people know what stores are in their area. So her next move, after she chased after the ball like a toddler in a soiled diaper, was to suggest Marvel and DC do a crossover event to help stores. <sighs> Like I said on Twitter, can someone with infinite patience explain to Gail that a crossover event isn't going to save retailers who don't have enough money to stay open for the next month, especially now that Diamond shut down new orders? Correction, they didn't shut down new orders. They're just not shipping anything. So how are people supposed to get these books, Gail? They're not getting them from the stores. They can't go to the store. The stores are closed. For how long? We don't know. So this is your plan as you toss the ball halfway down the court in the wrong direction. This is your plan. When are the books going to come out? How long does it take to put this together? Didn't it take months for Marvel and DC to agree to the last crossover in the 90s? Didn't they spend a ridiculous amount of time arguing over who would appear in what team up and who would win, lose, or draw? They wouldn't get that done probably until the end of the summer. Then you've got to write the books, not you. Jesus, no. Someone else will write the books. Then they need to be drawn, colored, and lettered. You'll notice I left out editing because y'all don't do that anymore. How long is that going to take? A couple of months too? By the time this gets done, it'll be 2021. And that's assuming Disney and Warner Brothers are cool with this because you know Disney would be like, crossover? Why don't we just buy you? Kind of solves the problem, doesn't it? This is your plan. This is your big brain plan. A three-pointer from the other side of the court. You're over here like, Kobe. And it doesn't even get past the free throw line directly in front of you. And of course, other pros jumped in on this. Do none of you have the self-awareness to realize how selfish and conceited this looks? I'd love to work on this book. Yeah, that's nice. You know what would have been great? If you had made books people wanted to read in the first place. Y'all spent the better part of the last decade putting out your woke comics, running off fans who didn't like the characters and non-stories, resulting in dozens of shops closing and hundreds barely hanging on due to the lost traffic. You've alienated the people who would even be interested in a crossover. You know all those straight white men, and even if they were to come back, you've replaced all the characters they would have even been interested in seeing. Even now, while y'all claiming to want to calm things down, y'all still cussing people out. 
Gail's calling me immature and goofy for blocking her after she mass blocked thousands of people who never interacted with her, myself included. You can't even comport yourselves professionally for five minutes, instantly right back to your usual antics. So who do you think will even buy these books? No, a Marvel DC crossover won't save comic book stores. You might get a taste of a boost, but once the allure of the event wears off or writers like Jason Aaron attack fans in a book, it's done. And then you have to deal with the fact that Marvel is publishing this. This is what they led with, meaning they did this on purpose. It's not a joke. It's not an accident. They want to piss off comic book fans. You're not saving anything but people's money by pulling shit like this. The bubble has burst. The jig is up. Your time has come. In short, don't nobody give a fuck about some stinky ass crossover. The time for that is over unless you decide to make the kind of stories people want to read without injecting your bigoted progressive ideology into everything. You're done. You have the industry you wanted. It's nice and exclusive and only allows in people who share your far left politics and backstab each other at random. So have a coke and a smile and shut the 